Uh, light it, smoke it, guns I'm toting. Why you motherfuckers worried about me? I don't know it, light it, smoke it. Hey, hello, Pimps, Captain Bakuda, and today we're gonna be reviewing the 10 largest animals known to man. Now, I'm really intrigued by this kind of stuff. Nobody really knows about that, but I've watched like 72 most like deadliest animals just in Asia. And let's like dwell on the fact it's just Asia. Like there's 72 just in Asia. But yeah, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch. Go live every day at 7 p.m. Anyway. So welcome back to another video about animals. We just can't get enough of them, and there are always new things to learn about the animal kingdom. Whether big or small, scary or cute, passive or aggressive, animals can be studied in many different ways. So I hope you're ready to learn more about them. In today's video, I'll be introducing you to the world's 10 biggest animals of all time. Maybe you've already watched the video about the 10 biggest animals in the world, and if you haven't, you should check it out. But today's video is going to focus on the 10 biggest animals literally of all time. Which means we're gonna include animals that are already extinct. Or at least that's what we believe. Stay with me all the way to number one and find out if the biggest animal of all time is one that still exists today, or is perhaps in a new form. Let's begin, shall we? No. Before it starts, I never want anything to ever come about that's as big as Godzilla. It's like mind blowing. Like if you guys have watched Godzilla vs Kong, no spoilers. Like the way that they dismantle buildings just with a footstep does not need to happen at all. Number ten, Paraceratherium. I think some of you were surprised when the elephant wasn't included in the world's biggest animals. Well, today I'm giving you something even bigger than the elephant, and it's not the mammoth. I'm talking about the Paraceratherium, which holds the title of being the largest land mammal that has ever lived. They stood at a towering 7 meters tall, which makes them taller than modern day giraffes. And they weighed between 33 and 44,000 pounds. This makes them almost three times heavier than the heaviest elephants we have today. Just like elephants, they were not an immediate threat to other animals or humans because they were herbivores. But with a size that big, I'm sure they were pretty intimidating, and they kept predators at a distance. It seems like they went extinct when the landscapes in Central Asia started to transform, making it hard for the Paraceratherium to find the means to survive. I do wonder what it would have been like to see one of these in the wild, but I'm sure we would have been able to spot them from very far away regardless. Number 9 whale shark. And That's here's one that we previously saw on the biggest animals in the world as well as a few other of our lists, the whale shark. So let me refresh or introduce you to some facts about this impressive animal. I don't wanna sound, First of all, the whale shark- I don't wanna sound stupid. Do whale sharks eat people? Or are they cool? Like you, you swim by one and it's like, it's cool vibes. Or is that shit like on 10? Like a great white. What's your vibes, Will Shark? Shark is the largest fish in the world. That's right, although its name implies otherwise, this animal is not a whale, but it is indeed a fish. It's just a fish. The name is simply a reference to its massive size, and if you haven't seen one yet, you'd probably- Oh my god. On 6th of May, 2003. I don't care. A I think it is a whale. They can reach a size of 14 meters long and can weigh up to 41,000 pounds. They are known for having long lives, and some of them make it to 150 years. With their enormous size, they could easily reign in the underwater world, especially when they move across the major oceans. However, despite the shark naming, they are filter feeders, which means that they mainly eat plankton and small fish that get caught in their big mouths. They are pretty friendly, and sometimes they can be spotted swimming with humans. Hmm. Number 8. Lead Sickness. While the whale shark is the largest fish in today's world, it is not the largest fish in history. There's a fish that was larger, and that's the lead sixthus. But it's actually not far from the size of whale sharks. Earlier estimates stated that a lead sixthus could be about 27 meters long. However, later studies have shown that they might have only been around 16 meters long, which is still a bit bigger than the whale sharks, but just not. In all theory, like, I would never want to be alive when something like that was alive. Because like one of my biggest fears is the ocean. 
Like, I think when we used to go out to see, like, my aunt in Florida, they used to get me to go out there a little bit, but I'd, like, get my feet wet and then come back in, like, whatever. Never fully in the water. Because you don't know what's under there. And I think there's, like, a statistic that there's, like, 3% of the ocean is explored or something like that. What if that shit is super deep, chilling, and just doesn't come up? Imagine just swimming, you chilling, you ain't you. Getting your strokes in. And then that shit pulls up. So what you gonna do? Swim? Motherfucker longer than you. Who you think? You, what's his name? Michael Phelps? You ain't getting away from that shit. You gonna look goofy. You goofy for being in the ocean in the first place. Smack yourself. I'll wait. While you smack the like button. And smack yourself. Go ahead. Dummy. Not for that much. Also, they were heavier, weighing about 43,000 pounds. And just like the whale shark, the lead sickness was also a filter feeder, eating plankton, shrimp, jellyfish, and any small creature that got stuck in its mouth. I kinda wish we had the lead sickness today, but at least we still have the whale shark, which is pretty close enough. Number 7. Chronosaurus. No. Who's the king of the jungle? That's right, the lion. And who's the king of underwater? Actually, that's uh, kind of a debatable subject. Let's move on from that one. The animal I have here, though, considered once as the largest pylosaur ever, is believed to have ruled at the top of the food chain. Fuck. Chronosaurus. Could never coexist. Named after the Greek god Cronus, who ate his own children, was a very intimidating predator. It could be about 10 meters tall and weighed something between 30 to 40,000 pounds. Jesus. It would prey on all sorts of creatures including fish, squids, and even other pylosaurs and ichthyosaurs. With such an intimidating reputation and a name, I'm sure the Chronosaurus didn't have to worry about other animals out there. Number 6. Titanoboa. Fuck no. You might remember the anaconda and the python oh, as the large- Okay, so some people know I used to own a snake. Did not like snakes at all. I just, the snake was passed down. Couldn't give it back to the person that originally owned the snake, so I had to take care of the snake. He's long gone now because of the baby loop. But the fucking, I don't like snakes, but to think that there was a snake this fucking big at one point, like, hear me out. This fucking big shit eats you, you're gone, swallowed whole. Terrifying. So I don't like to look too deep into this shit. Because where did that shit go? It can just die off. It might live super duper long like that once you like said 150 years or some shit. Maybe it's just fucking sleeping somewhere else. It doesn't want to come out. Shit can be in the jungle right now. You stumble upon that bitch. You gone. Chopped. No gulag. For people that know. Cod reference. That's just crazy. Largest snakes in the world today, but these two are so small compared to their very large ancestor, the Titanoboa. This big snake, which could be as long as a school bus, lived in the South American rainforest about 60 million years ago. With about 13 meters of length, the snake was not just long, but it was also quite wide, to the point that it would have to squeeze into your door for you that came to find you in your house today. It's estimated that this big snake weighed about 2,500 pounds, which makes it half as heavy as a giraffe. So don't think you could have just picked up this snake and take it home as a pet, or toss it away like some people do when they find snakes in the wild. Oh, you're this snake was pretty much like any other big animal today. It was better to leave them alone. Number 5. Bigger. The Megalodon. Never. And here's another That's one from our previous knows. videos, Don't The Megalodon, the largest shark ever knows. and the protagonist of a poorly rated movie franchise. Just like many other prehistoric creatures, the name of this animal comes from the Greek and the meaning is rest. big. Ready to win $1,000 a day for life from Publishers Clearinghouse? We're ready to give it away in a special way. Two. I guess that gives you an idea of how big and wide its jaws really are. Not only was it the largest shark in the world, but it's also one of the largest vertebrate predators ever. How intimidating can that be? Just think about this, the white shark, which is the current largest shark in the world today that's carnivorous. It can grow as long as 20 feet long and weigh as much as 7,000 pounds. However, the Megalodon was easily three times bigger in size and could be 15 times heavier than its modern day relatives. 
With such a large size and a predator instinct, this animal was likely at the top of its food chain and it probably fed from dolphins and maybe even whales. The animal went extinct more than one million years ago, but some people like to think that the Megalodon is still out there in the deep ocean or the Mariana Trench or something like that. I guess Hollywood has really put some crazy ideas in our heads, or maybe they know something that we don't. Eh, maybe I'd stay away from the deep waters either way. Number 4. The Spinosaurus. Films have made a really great job of bringing awareness of prehistoric animals. For that reason, thanks to movies like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, we know a bit more about dinosaurs and other animals that are now extinct. And while some of the portrayals are exaggerated, we at least learn the names and some interesting characteristics of these species. As the case of the Spinosaurus, a dinosaur that you probably remember from the Jurassic Park movies from the 90s. They were the largest carnivore dinosaurs on Earth. They could be about 18 meters, and in fact, at 1.8 meters long, their head alone was the size of a human being. And those spines on their backs were about 2 meters high. Even though they were so big, they didn't feed from any large animals. Their diet consisted of fish and sharks that they could eat with their serrated teeth. Their ability to swim made it easier for them to get this kind of food. Number 3. Argentinosaurus. At this point, you've already learned about the largest mammal and largest dinosaur to ever dwell on the land. But there's another animal that lived on land that was even bigger than those two. It's the Argentinosaurus, which is known as the king of sauropods, which let me remind you are not dinosaurs. The Argent Do y'all remember the land before time? 90s babies. 90s babies. Do y'all remember the land before time? Is that what he is? Is that what that is? Or is it something different? I'm confused. Give me a rundown. Somebody's dropping it in the comments. I don't know what that is. Argentinosaurus was in fact not just large, but also the longest one to live on land. They could reach a I understand you need your money, bro. I'm trying to get my money up too. I'm trying to watch a video. Height above 7 meters and weigh about 224,000 pounds. Even their eggs were bigger than the biggest eggs you've seen. They were almost as big as a coconut and weighed 5 pounds. So how did they die? It would take these animals about 40 years to reach adulthood, which gives them plenty of time to gain those 200,000 pounds needed to be a healthy grown sauropod. Wow. It's estimated that their daily diet needed an intake of 100,000 calories, which is... Hold on, hold on. Bring it back. Hold on, where is it at? Why would you ever be this idiot right here? You see these big ass things walking, chilling by themselves, you know, their natural habitat, right? Yo, goofy ass pulls up in this, swerving in and out the legs. What is the vibes, bro? What are you, what are you doing? No offense to my people. This is some Caucasus activity right here. Where, where are you going? You don't need to document this. You can take pictures. There's cameras. I you can go stand on the Quest Building downtown, and look at somebody at Metro University. But you want to be right next to the shit. Slap yourself again. Come on, I know you thought that you wanted to do that. Slap yourself again. Come on. Goofy. Thousand calories, which is like eating three hundred muffins in one single day. I guess that makes sense for an animal this big. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I have today is one of people gathered around the head of a very large animal, something that looks like a crocodile. And today I want to present to you the largest aquatic reptile, which is actually bigger than a crocodile and significantly larger than almost every animal you've seen so far. Oh. Number 2. Shastasaurus. If you're into reptiles and exotic prehistoric animals, you've probably heard about the Liopleurodon. In fact, we've even mentioned it in our video about 10 animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. Some people have said that the Liopleurodon was the largest aquatic reptile so to ever exist. Okay, but so even if, if the meteor hit, right, and it extinct the dinosaurs or whatever, say like these dinosaurs just swam down. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get y'all on a different plane. What if these, these things swam down to the trenches, whatever, whatever, and they're just living down there? Like there's like a different like ecosystem down there. They're just chilling. There's no way that big ass thing died. 
Millions of them. There's no way that there's no more now. They designed it. Even though it was quite big and intimidating, it was not really the largest one. That title belongs to the Shastasaurus, an animal that was not that scary or dangerous, but was definitely big. It was about 20 meters long and weighed around 80,000 pounds. It's almost as big as the sperm whales we have today. However, the Shazasaurus was a toothless reptile and it had a very small jaw, which suggested it probably fed by sucking things like a vacuum. I saved the best for last, but really worked. Number 1. The Blue Whale. That's... We just came across some of the craziest shit. Spinosaurus, fucking whatever the thing with the long neck was, fucking giant anacondas. You mean to tell me something in modern day? Okay, modern day. Blue whale. Shit's still here right now. Blue whale is the biggest thing in existence right now. And you're going to sit there and look at me and tell me that the other dinosaurs ain't just chilling down there in the Mariana Trench, whatever. This shit's crazy because it's still here. That's right. Once again, we have the blue whale at the top. It's really impossible to keep this animal out of this spot. This animal has been, still is, and hopefully will always be the largest animal in the world. I mean, I wouldn't like to see any animal larger than this, but it would be quite interesting. The blue whale can reach a weight of 180 tons and a size of up to 30 meters long. That's about the size of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which is already one monumental work of architecture. As I just graduated. No, no, no. You're capping. I smell cap. Them facts that you're trying to spit right now are cap. Tell me the Eiffel Tower. In France, Eiffel Tower. Dad, hold on. Get get this dude off my screen. I waited 10 people from my mentorship program this morning, and Four. on average, they gained 58,000 followers. How These humans are just really, really. This fucking thing is as big as the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Get the fuck out of here, man. Tiny next to this thing. I mean, you think elephants are big. Well, the tongues of the blue whales alone are as heavy as an elephant. Also, the hearts of these big mammals can be as heavy as a car. And you'd think with such a big size they would feed from big animals, but their main diet consists of tiny plankton and small shrimp called krill. They're decent swimmers moving at 30 kilometers per hour, and with that impressive size, I'm surprised that they can move that fast. And just in case you've forgotten, or perhaps you don't even know it yet, whales are not fish. They are mammals. Just like dogs, bears, and other hairy animals you see around, and just like those animals, baby whales also need their milk. They can drink up to 600 liters of milk each day, gaining about 90 kilos of weight on a daily basis during their first year of life. That explains how they reach their large size in adulthood. The number of blue whales have been decreasing due to the threats of whale hunters, so we hope that does change in the future, as these are just such beautiful creatures. And honestly, I don't think we want to see another animal on this list go extinct, even when their size is so big that it can send chills down my spine. What do you think of these animals? That was the end of that video. There was some crazy shit in there. The fucking the anaconda, the spinosaurus, the blue whale. I insanely being number one still can't believe fucking a blue whale all that hype all that build up for a blue whale anyways guys if you're new here like subscribe don't forget to twitch again let me plug that real quick don't forget to twitch and we'll see you in the next one if you want to see me react to something else or something that you want me to see tag it down below follow me on all my social medias and yeah Bye.